Matrix is a very interesting game. After the 2017 general election, the NASA senators elected the Bungoma senator Moses Wetangula as their Senate minority leader. And they also appointed or elected CS Senator James Orengo as the Senate deputy minority leader. And then the handshake happened. The handshake between President Ruru Kenyatta and Raila Molodinga changed the politics of this country completely. Senator Moses Wetangula was not very happy with that handshake. And Raila Molodinga was keen on the handshake. The handshake actually happened in March 2018. And then Senator Moses Wetangula was then removed as the Senate Minority Leader by NASA Senators. James Orengo, who was his deputy, was then elected as the Senate Majority Leader. And then the Senators then elected the Kakamega Senator Cleophas Malala as the Senate Deputy Minority Leader. So that's how Senator Malala found himself as the Senate Deputy Minority Leader. So yesterday there were rumors in this country that the NASA senators were planning to remove or to eject Cleophas Malala as the Senate Minority, as the, as the, deputy, as the Senate Deputy Minority Leader. And today morning, James Orengo convened a meeting. And in that meeting, Senator Malala was removed or has been removed as the Senate, as the Deputy Minority Leader at the Senate. And he has been replaced by Stewart Matzayo, the Kilifi Senator, who is, an, who is a member of the ODM party. Moses Wetangula was a member of Fort Kenya. Senator Malala was a member of ANC party. ODM party, after ODM party, it's only ODM party and the sympathizers of the Wilbur movement who enjoy the majority of this house. Uh, on your side, it's ODM which calls the shots. And I've always said, even though I disagree with the former prime minister, I have requested the parties that work in the NASA coalition or NASA coalition to respect ODM. Because, Mr. Speaker, I did my arithmetic the other day. I realized that Fort Kenya has one member of, Parliament, of Senate. Waipa has only three members of Senate elected. Khan was only two. And Mr. Speaker, um, Amani has only two, but one is already an uh, ODM sympathizer. So I respect the ODM party as the second largest party in this house. But if you remove, if you bring, um, Mr. Speaker, the Asla movement here, it's only ODM and Asla movement who can think about one single party majority in this house. So in this video today, I want us to look at the reasons why Senator Cleophas Malala has been removed as the Senate, as the Deputy Minority Leader at the Senate. But before we do that, if you're watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. Now let us get back to business. The first question we are asking, why was Moses Wetangula removed as the Senate Majority Leader? Why do you think he was removed? Moses Wetangula was removed because of NASA politics. And then Senator Cleophas Malala was elevated. Why do you think Senator Cleophas Malala of Kakamega County was elevated to be the deputy minority leader at the Senate? Four reasons why he was elevated. He was elevated because Moses Wetangula had been kicked out. And to appease the lawyer nation, a lawyer had to be found. And that's how he was found. Because the other guy was the Vihiga senator. But the Vihiga senator had been appointed as a commissioner to the Parliamentary Service Commission. Serving under ODM, but he's an NC candidate. He's an NC senator. So Malala was appointed. 
because Moses' rectangular had been removed and there was that need to appease the lawyer nation. The second reason why Senator Malala was appointed was because of his loyalty to Raila Amolo Dinga by that time. During that time, Senator Malala was very close to Raila Amolo Dinga. In fact, Senator Malala, the nominated member of parliament, Otsosi, were very close to Raila Amolo Dinga. So he was rewarded. Because this, these positions are actually very powerful. So he was rewarded because he was loyal to Raila Amolo Dinga. I wanted to listen to Senator Malala speaking during that particular time. Na chama ambayo tunataka msali ya kuwe rais wa jamuri ya Kenya Na party leader msali ya mdavadi mluya Deputy party leader Ayub Savula mluya Secretary General Barak Muluka mluya Chairman Lunani mluya Ukiangalia treasurer anaitu Anyembe mluya NEC members Adagala mluya Agoi mluya Malala mluya eh, Bishop Titus Kamala mluya eh, Aseka Miradi mluya Murunga mluya Number three, he was also elected because Musalia Mdavadi and Moses Uitangula were fighting the handshake. They were fighting Raila Molodinga. So if they were fighting Raila Molodinga, then Raila Molodinga appointed through his party, appointed Senator Malala to serve. So basically Malala Naobi was elevated, politically speaking, just as a way of sending a message to Musalia Mdavadi. And lastly, why he was elevated, I strongly believe that Raila Odinga also liked Clofas Malala. And I want also to be on record. Clofas Malala is one of the senators I really value so much in this country. And I wished, if I were any ODM member, if I were an ODM advisor to Raila Odinga, I would have advised Raila Odinga to convince Senator Malala to come to his side. In fact, losing Senator Malala to Musalia Mdavadi was not the right move. If Senator Malala was with Raila Odinga, I'm sure the, the Matungu by election results would have been totally different. Malala wanted to come to ODM party. He could not come because Oparanya didn't want him. So which takes us to the fourth, fourth point, the Kakamega gubernatorial by election. Clofas Malala wanted to become or wants to become the next governor for Kakamega County. Oparanya, who is the deputy party leader of ODM party, has a different strategy and idea. He wants his deputy. So they frustrated Malala to a point that Malala now had to go back to ANC. A person who was willing so much to do everything to come back to ODM party. So because of those four reasons, Malala was elevated to the position of deputy minority leader. And he has been removed. Why do you think Clofas Malala has been removed? In my considered opinion, four reasons. Number one, the first reason why he has been removed is that Raila Odinga, because he's the majority at the Senate on NASA side, ANC party I think has two senators, Wiper maybe three now, Ford Kenya has only one, Moses Wetangula. So I think Raila Odinga wants to consolidate his support at the Senate. So that because we are entering into a crucial stage in politics of this country. So they want someone who is going to be loyal to him. And Malala is not loyal. And is earning a salary. He's enjoying benefits of being a deputy minority leader. So he has been removed because Raila wants to consolidate his support. And that's why Raila Odinga decided then to bring on board Senator Madzayo of Kilifi, because this one senator who is commanding a lot of respect at the Senate. So that's the first reason. Raila wants to consolidate his support, just like Uru Kenyatta consolidated his support at the Senate and at the National Assembly. Number two, I think there is a cold war between ODM as a political party and the sacred alliance of Kalonzo Musyoka, Musalia Mdavadi, and Moses Utangula. Let me just read for you the reaction from these principles. Let me begin by a statement by statement by Moses Wetangula. Moses Wetangula. His statement on this particular removal is saying, I condemn the removal of Senator Clofas Malala 
as a Senate Deputy Minority Leader. It is selfish, unhelpful, unlawful, vindictive, intolerant, vengeful, and against NASA coalition agreement. It has a direct link to the outcome of Matungu by election. Bore kabisa. And I think this particular move has direct link to Matungu by election. And I'm going to get into that. Now let us get the reaction from ANC party of Musali Amdavadi. What is ANC party saying over this particular move? Remember, Senator Malala replaced Senator Moses Wetangula. So in ordinary circumstance, you'd expect Senator Wetangula to actually be very happy by that move. But because in politics, only interests are permanent. Now let me read for you the statement by NC party. NC party is saying, we condemn in the strongest terms possible the removal of Senator Cleophas Malala from the position of Senate Deputy Minority Leader. Senator Malala was appointed into that capacity as a NASA representative. We consider this as a hostile action from ODM and will not take it lying down. We will revisit. Again, NC as a political party are not very happy with this particular statement. I mean, with this particular move to remove Senator Malala. Musali Mdavadi, the ANC party leader, has also tweeted, this is his tweet, the decision by ODM to oust Kakamega Senator Cleophas Wahungu Malala as the Senate Deputy Minority Leader is regrettable. This is an affront on democracy and all its tenants. It's continuing, while all manner of excuses will be floated, it is clear to us that Malala was removed because of his role in the recent Matungu by election, where the NC candidate he campaigned for won with a landslide. I am, I am proud of my senator and I stand with him totally. He is a party stalwart whose freedom of speech and association shall, we shall defend to the hilt. Kenya no longer has room for political deception big brotherhood syndrome and intolerance so there is really a cold war within between Raila Odinga and the sacred alliance and it's manifesting itself in this particular statement number three why he has been removed i think it's a punishment because of matungo by election and everybody is alluding to this Modian party up to now still believes that probably they won, but the system aided the ANC candidate. But there's a guy who played a key role who delivered this seat to Musalia Mdavadi. That person is Cleophas Malala. If you ask me, without Malala, I doubt if ANC party would have won this seat. Although they had a strong candidate, which I must also indicate that their candidate in his own right was a very strong candidate. But Malala single-handedly campaigned for this guy. An ODM party is not very happy. He was found with the 2 million Kenya shillings that day, you all remember. The police escorted him as he harassed that, that uh, IBC officials. I'm sure he has been punished for Matungu by election. And lastly, I think it, it has to do with Western Kenya politics. Western are consolidating themselves under the Sacred Alliance. Musalia Mdavadi and Moses Wetangula are trying to work together, which is going to be very good for the region. But is it good for Raila Molodinga? It's not good for Raila Molodinga. So how do you deal with it? Remove Malala, who is enjoying the benefit of ODM. So once you remove Malala, People will make noise, people will be bitter, people will be angry. After three or four days or after one week, people will forget. So Malala will now not have the, the privileges, the government vehicle, will not have those security, extra security, will not have extra office for his, um, his guys. So he will just be now probably just a, a senator. He will not enjoy the benefits of being a deputy minority leader. And that's what they want. And because of that, Malala is likely to feel the pinch a bit. I don't know what you think. But for me, I don't know whether it was the right move
to remove Cleophas Malala. I don't think so. Because, let's face it, if Muslim Davadi and Watangula are wise politically, they can use this Malala issue to deliver a message to the people of Western Kenya. And that message is very clear that Relo Dinga does not like the people of Mount Kenya, I mean, of uh, Western Kenya region. They can do that. And use the example of uh, Moses Tangula. They can now use the example of uh, Wetangula and now Malala. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Do you think it was right move to remove Senator Cleophas Malala as the deputy minority leader at the Senate? Let me hear your thoughts. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day.